Well, this week, college students across the Summit City would be walking across the stage for their graduation, a big moment. But because of the pandemic, all of that is changed. ABC 21's Carly Van Cleve talked with one of those students who's feeling that impact. Thanks, Brian. The traditional celebration won't happen this year. Instead, most college grads will attend a virtual ceremony. They'll get a diploma in the mail and they'll turn their tassel from home. And for students that are the first in their family to graduate, it's impacting them even more. Growing up, I basically had no choice. College was going to happen. Sandra Macias worked her whole life to be one of the first in her family to go to college. My parents wanted to go to school and they weren't able to. Now she's graduating from Indiana University, but she won't have quite the ending she always dreamed of. As a first generation um, college student, this is something you dream of your whole life. And it's just kind of not the same to have an online commencement. When the pandemic hit, Sandra's chance to walk across that stage and be handed her diploma was taken away. Uniquely to first generation students is that, you know, the loss of walking across the physical stage is kind of just one of the losses. Shabitha Kiever, director of the Purdue Fort Wayne TRIO program for first generation college students, says it's not just a loss for the students. But then their families also have a sense of loss. You know, they've They've been very invested in, you know, their student being the first in their family to go. And she says they have been checking in on their seniors a lot more than usual. You know, first gen students are very resilient by nature and they see this as, you know, hopefully an opportunity to an opportunity for their future. Just knowing that you are paving the way for your next generations. I know my kids are definitely going to look up to me and want to go to college. If you are a first gen, uh, just to keep going and to ask for help and just know that things will fall into place eventually and we're all going to make it. Indiana University's virtual graduation will take place this Saturday. Yeah, some big changes for those kids. You feel sorry for them. They're kind of robbed of that big moment, aren't they? Yeah, definitely, Brian. It's just a strange time for everyone. It is indeed. Carly, thank you for that.